pursuing a PhD is a life-altering decision where you commit yourself to four to five years of research and hard work. So naturally, you would want to know what is the reward after you complete your degree? What are the job opportunities available and how can you grow in your career? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Wise Up Communications and in this video we're going to talk about seven different career options which you can pursue after a PhD. You will find 95% of PhD graduates going for one of these career choices. So without further delay, let's get started. The first career option is that of a postdoc. Once you complete your PhD, you can take a postdoctorate position. And as the name suggests, the postdoctorate position is like a temporary position where you continue your training as a researcher and try to gain experience in your path to become a principal investigator or a junior faculty member. Now, there are many advantages of doing a postdoc if you want an academic career. Firstly, it pays well. Now that you have a PhD degree, you will be paid in line with the industry standards and not a meager stipend anymore which you were earning in your PhD. Secondly, you get a chance to publish various research papers and improve upon your skills like mentoring, grant writing and teaching which is very necessary if you want to go for an academic career. Thirdly, you can explore various options for postdoc position around the world in some of the best universities. So not only do you get a chance to explore various countries, but it also improves your CV as well. And finally, it gives you a smooth transition from a student to becoming a guide or a faculty member. On an average, people go for two to three years of postdoc before they take up a full-time position. The next career option, again in academia, is that of a professor. If you don't want to go for a postdoc position, you can directly go for a position of a professor. The only difference here will be that the university and the faculty position that you get would be of slightly lesser value as compared to that when you get after a postdoc. But it's still a good choice. So you can join a university and at the same time you can teach and pursue your research. Over the years, you can grow within the academia to become an assistant professor, associate professor and then a full professor. For some universities, if you're a full professor, they also give you tenure if you're on that track. And with tenure, it means that you can actually never get fired and you also get complete academic freedom. So this is another option for you to consider as well. The next career option is a career in the industry. Now, if you don't want to go into academia after your PhD, you can find a job in the industry. Most companies agree that people who have a PhD degree bring more value to the company and they are able to solve more complex problems. So based on your specialization, you can choose a field within the industry that you would want to be in. The advantage of working in the industry is that you often get higher pay as compared to academia and even as compared to the government. In fact, here you don't have to interact with students or take classes and you can always switch from one company to another to explore different types of uh, work opportunities, something that you will generally not find in academia. So these are some of the advantages. Apart from these three career options, the next career option that I've seen a lot of people pursue after the PhD is that of entrepreneurship. Four years of PhD gives you in-depth knowledge about a particular field. While working on that research area, you realize what are some of the gaps or problems in that research that other people have not been able to overcome. And often that results in a business idea and takes you in a career direction to pursue entrepreneurship. By participating in conferences, delivering presentations and applying for funding, a PhD degree also prepares you for the challenges that an entrepreneur has to go through. Moreover, if you are graduating from a good reputed university, then it becomes easier to draw funding from the market as well because it establishes your credibility in that field. So if you think that you have a business idea or a product that can help the masses, then this career direction is for you. Next interesting career option is that of consulting. You might have a PhD in healthcare thinking that business has nothing to do with you. But 
large consulting companies do hire PhD graduates from all different fields. So if you know how to manage large amounts of data, analyze them and provide solutions to business problems, then these companies will be looking out for you. Different consultancies serve different sectors. For example, some might be serving healthcare and life sciences. Others might be into energy resources and sustainability. Some might be working in government and public services, while others might be in IT and telecommunication. And all of them need experts from these fields to become as consultants. Like I personally know a contact who did their PhD in civil engineering and they are now working at ERM, Environmental Resources Management as a consultant. So if you like this fusion of sciences and business put together, then this career option is for you. Another fusion category would be that of product management. All companies need product managers to manage their product, solve their issues and make them as user friendly as possible. And generally for these roles, the companies nowadays either hire MBAs or PhDs. Irrespective of the field you've done your PhD in, these companies hire you as product managers because they feel that you have certain skills that can be applied to these roles. You can think like a scientist, identify errors and explain the science in layman terms. It's pretty exciting because you witness terms like user journeys, market analysis, competitive analysis and come to know in detail about machine learning and AI. You will learn a lot of things on the job as well, but the two core ingredients that you will always need are your problem solving and analytical ability. So if this is something that excites you, that interests you, then you can explore this career option as well. Now the next career option I'd like to talk to you about is that of the government sector. Now a lot of people prefer working in the government sector as compared to the private sector because of the job security and the perks that it has to offer. Many government organizations hire PhD graduates in different positions like research associates, scientists, professors and even as consultants. So based on the sector and the field that you are interested in, you can choose a job in the government sector. Another area within the government sector that some PhD holders work in is in policy making. Policy work is evidence-based decision making and no matter what your PhD background is, you can handle it. This role requires very good research and writing skills because you will be writing proposals, reports and policy briefs based on your area of expertise. If you have data skills, that really adds on to your profile because the government uses enormous amount of data to make these policies. So this is another role within the government sector that you can definitely explore. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video has given you a clearer picture of what lies ahead of you and what are the different career options possible if you pursue a PhD. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.